In this video, I want to talk about how you can get sweeps off of submissions, and this is a wasted opportunity for many people. There's lots of times where people go for submissions, and they're so focused on the submission um, to where like they gas themselves out, and it doesn't work, the person escapes, and they have to either start over, or the person might even pass their guard. When there's opportunities to actually improve your position when the submission isn't working, okay? So this is a scenario where a submission is also a position. All right, I talk about that in the, on the Grappler's Guide in the, um, the principal section of the Invisible Grappling Program, right? Where I talk about how submissions are not just submissions. Submissions are also positions. So when you go for submissions and they're, they are not working, don't just give up on the position. Think about how you can capitalize on the scenario that you have because more often than not, your opponent is in a scenario, is in a scenario in a situation where they are not comfortable, right? And we wanna take advantage of that to where we can improve our situation in any way. It doesn't have to be a submission. It could be a sweep. So um, some examples are, let's say I end up getting an arm bar from the guard, right? So I'm here, boom, I come through, and I get an arm bar. So I have an arm bar on him. He's defending this. See, I'm not having trouble getting this. If you if you um, see here, his arm is pretty much in like flower sweep territory. I'm controlling his arm here. So from here, I can quickly come through and switch to a sweep. That submission now just turned into a sweep. Another example is where he's inside my closed guard again. It doesn't matter if you have closed guard or open guard. There's many times where you end up in these submission type of scenarios regardless, right? And I end up going for um, a Kimura on him. So I come here, boom, I'm going for a Kimura on him. And then he's starting to like power up, right? So I feel him starting to power up in his posture. This can lead to a sweep where I can now use this submission because I already have control of his arm. He's given me a situation where I can make him overcommit and then I can sweep him. Um, another scenario is a triangle choke. Like there's, there's uh, a couple or even multiple different uh, examples that I can give you here as well where I have the triangle choke here, right? And he's starting to defend where I can start tipping him this direction and using this to get on top because I'm controlling his arm by basically having it in between my legs. And then another situation, this is where they really, they, they do the over committing, is where we're here like this, right? I have the triangle choke, and um, what's gonna happen, I'm just gonna let Russ know, is he's gonna posture up, and I'm gonna do this here, and I'm gonna make you go backwards, okay? It's important for me to let him know, because I don't want him to um, go over his knees. So he's really like posturing back here, and I go like this. And then I could come here and then I sweep him. So that's a situation where he feels like he's doing a proper escape. I'm losing my sweep. Then I can, I, I mean, I'm losing my submission and by him posturing up, he now gives me a sweep instead of me having to go for the submission. Um, Oma Plata is another example of this, right? So to where, and all pot of many times is a sweep before submission as well. So I come through here, boom, I go for an omoplata. It's not working, he's trying to roll and I can't get the omoplata, I'll just let him go. And I let him roll. That gives me a sweep. Um, another scenario is I go for an omoplata. Right, so we're here, I go for an omoplata. I can't get the omoplata, so what I do is I actually come back down and I hook under his leg. Now I'm here, I straighten my legs, I roll, and then I get on top. I turned it into an omoplata sweep. Another example for the omoplata, and this is an example where uh, one of my old students, we, he was competing and I was coaching him. He was going for an omoplata and his opponent was posturing up. And I kept saying, roll back, do a backwards roll, do a backwards roll. And my student never did this before and he was looking at me like I was crazy. And I said, do a backwards roll. He did a backwards roll, swept the person, got the points, and then he ended up winning the match. I don't know if that's why he won the match, but at the very minimum, he was able to get a successful sweep, right? Because he couldn't get the submission, his opponent gave him an opportunity to go for a sweep. And that's where I'm like this here. So I'm gonna come here, get an omoplata, and then he starts posturing up hard, and I come here. I keep coming through, and then I roll back. There's more technical aspects to it, right? I'm just rushing through these particular things, right? So if my sweeps look sloppy at the moment, right? Well, we're focused on the concept more than anything else. 
that's already a bunch of examples right there. Um, let's say, for example, I have a guillotine on the person. I like to do guillotines without having full guard. So I might be here and I have a guillotine on him like this. So here I have a guillotine on him and I'm having trouble finishing my guillotine. I'll take this hook and I'll put it inside here and I'll use that to kick him. So that way I can get on top. I'm making him focused on defending the submission, which then makes him not as focused on defending the, um, the particular sweep. Uh, and then a final example, if Russ gets his gi real quick, is I like doing cross collar chokes, right? And many times I'll do the cross collar chokes so I can get a sweep. So I'll come here, I might um, have butterfly guard, I'll have a cross collar grip, right? And I come through here, boom, and I'm going for the submission. I'm going for it, going for it. He's postured up, trying to stop, and then I use this to get my sweep on my opponent. So it's another example on how submission wasn't working, and it leads to a sweep. I must have given like 10 different examples, like around there, and that's just the start. So think of submissions as positions, and many, many, many times submissions will lead to sweeps. So if you're somebody who's not good at doing sweeps, but you're good at doing submissions, you now have an opportunity to create sweep opportunities because of the submissions that you are attempting. So really play around this concept. I believe this is something that everyone should focus on. It's a wasted opportunity if you're not focusing on this. Um, if you have any questions or comments, let me know. Post below or send me an email, and I'll do the best I can to help you out. All right, peace.